I used to do cults when I was about uh, maybe 10 years old, 9 or 10 years old. I was quite late into it. Kids nowadays are sort of 5, 6, 7 years old when they were into the football. Yeah, I was uh, 9 or 10 and went to watch my brother football training who's younger than me and uh, they needed a goalie and, and there I was. Uh, I was an Ipswich fan growing up, uh, thanks to my dad who was an Ipswich fan growing up also. Um, and yeah, we were big fans. We were season ticket holders for a few years when they were in the Premier League. So we'll be back to the Chelsea days, obviously um, played quite a few reserve team games uh, with players that were coming back from injury or that were in the team for whatever reason, um, SCN, John Terry, Drogba, um, players of those that, that, that kind of built. Pre-game it's usually Tyler Blackett or, or Andy Yeardom. There was a, a period a few weeks ago where we all had a bit of an input into some of the songs that went on the playlist and people suggested different things, but yeah, it's usually uh, Tyler or Andy that, that put the music on. Yaku is usually throwing a few shapes around in the changing room, pre or post training. He moves well for a big man, I'd say, yeah, probably Yak. He's a tough guy. Paul McShane, I'd say. He's, he's the type of guy, if you were to go into battle, I think you'd want to follow him in. John O'Shea, he's like a, a wise, noble owl. He's, uh, you know, obviously had an incredible career in the game. Um, bags and bags of experience, won everything there is to win. Um, and so, you know, I'm sure that uh, you know, that will transfer into a, a very successful managerial career. Snakes. Easily, I just cannot stand them. I don't, I don't, I don't get any why anyone would ever want to have one around the neck or, or hold one or do anything with one. They're they're, they're vile, awful creatures. I'm quite, I very much enjoy BBC drama actually. And the one I'm watching at the moment is The Cry, which is on BBC on a Sunday night. You can always rely on the BBC to churn out a decent 9 p.m. drama. 